Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to run Azure Batch job with the Python API. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and in this we will run an Azure Batch job from an application built on the Azure Batch Python API. After completing this video, we will understand the key concepts of the Batch service and uh, the app. The app uploads several input data files to Azure storage and then creates a pool of batch compute nodes that is virtual machine then it will create a sample job that runs task to process each input file on the pool using a basic command for this you have to have the python and the pip and obviously azure batch account linked to the storage account so first of all we'll log on to the azure portal as we have already done when we'll, then we'll get the account credentials then go on to your batch services. Click search here batch accounts. Click on it. I don't have a batch account. So create one batch account. I'll come back. I've started creating my batch account and with that I have linked it to the storage account. The deployment is in progress. It will be done within few minutes or seconds I would say. So when this batch account will be created I would check the batch credentials that are the keys when the batch account is created. Until that time I'm gonna download the sample app from the github account and would clone it on my local desktop using the git clone command. I'm going to clone the directory using the git clone command under this location. I'm going to use this. It will make a clone of this my local. So if I browse to this folder, here it is. This is the git project that I have created. Quick start. My deployment is complete and I'm going to go to that resource. I'm going to click on keys and I'm going to copy the values of patch account URL and primary access key to my notepad. This is these three values. I'm going to copy. Let me open up the notepad. So first one is badge account name. Second would be the URL. URL third one would be the primary access key so that I remember it I'm gonna keep it handy I'm already cloned the sample app I'm gonna go to the directory that I loaded which is this and I'm going to go to the quick start Python command. What I've done here is I went to that directory which contains this uh, Python script. So my Python quick start client.py Python script is under my source on the command prompt. I went to that directory and I ran the command which says pip install minus r requirements.txt. And it has installed all the necessary requirements. So now I will open the config.py file, which is this, and would make the changes here batch account name, batch account key, and the batch account URL and the storage account name and the storage account key. Let me just do that and come back. I have made the changes. I have populated the batch account name, batch account key, batch account URL. And now I will save this file, exit it. Here, I'll run this batch workflow in action. I'll go here. I'll do this. 
let's see if it's done creating pool creating job adding three tasks monitoring all start for completing state this so when we'll run the sample application the control output is similar to the following during execution the experience a pause at monitoring all task for completed it time out in 30 while the pools compute nodes are started tasks are queued to run as soon as the first compute node is running let me just go to the portal and see how this output is going on so if you will come here the url code these are the jobs if you would click on this job you see the three tasks if you will click on the task it will come up files no click on root okay the task is still active okay you click on here. Pool. Here is this ID. Here are the nodes. State is starting. You can see the the running job. You can see the after the code is done. And to interact with the storage account, the app uses a store storage block package to create the package. So this is how you configure a batch job using a Python code. So I hope this was informative for all of you guys. And before we leave, I have to delete my resource group. Just we do we have been doing it. So I'll delete my resource group. And uh, if you have any feedback, please mention them in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.